How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm gonna teach you how you can do this. That's right, in this 2025 updated video, I'm gonna teach you how you can set any song as your iPhone ringtone for free. And when I say any song, I do mean it. You can pick any song from your favorite band, your favorite artist. As a matter of fact, you can pick any audio file and set as your iPhone ringtone for free and completely official. Let me show you, let's get started. Okay guys, so all you actually need is this app right here, GarageBand. And don't worry, because this is a native Apple application, meaning that this comes pre-installed on every single iPhone, including yours. So if you don't have it, it's probably because you have deleted it, but no problem, because you can go ahead, open up the App Store, let it load, go to search, tap here on the search bar, and of course, look for Garage Band. And of course, I'm gonna have a direct link right here in the description. That's it, Garage Band from Apple. Naturally, it's completely free. So you can get it, install it super fast, and then you can go ahead and open it up. And let's get started. And GarageBand is always gonna be like that in landscape. So let's go ahead here, readjust, and then slide to the right a few times until we get to audio recorder. Tap on this option, and then here is where we're gonna work. The first thing you're gonna need to check is if this icon right here of the metronome is actually enabled, if it's blue, as you can see. If it is, tap on it because it has to be white, otherwise you're gonna have a problem later. Then go ahead here and tap on this brick wall-like icon, so it's the third, from left to right, so tap on it, and then we're gonna have our timeline. And then we're gonna tap on this plus icon right here, which is super hard to get. For some reason, I managed to get it on the second try. Generally, it takes eight attempts. So let's go ahead here and tap here on section A, tap on this option, and then disable automatic, because we're gonna need to manually adjust to 30. So we're gonna tap here on the arrow pointing down, until we get to 30, okay? So go ahead and do that. And then you can tap outside, and then the timeline has adjusted, as you can see. And now it's finally time to actually select our audio, our song, what we want as our ringtone. And to do that, we're gonna actually tap on this icon right here. It's gonna be the second from right to left, this little loop, tap on it, and then right here, tap on files. And as you can see, you can actually pick pretty much any audio file type. As you can see, GarageBand is compatible with AIFF, WAV, CAF, Apple Loops, AAC, MP3, MIDI, or MIDI. So it's pretty much anything. So you can choose any audio file. And we're actually gonna get it from the Files app. So we actually need our song or audio file to be inside the Files app, which is actually, and I'm gonna show you, this app right here, this Files app. And there are actually many ways you can actually put songs or audio files here. You can get it from third-party applications, you can actually share and transfer from a computer, from another iPhone, from another device, and of course, you can just go ahead and download it. You can download your song, your audio file, whatever, from the web. I'm using, in this video right here, an audio library from YouTube Studio. So this is for creators. So there is no copyright or anything like that. So just as an example, I'm gonna select this audio right here, and then I'm gonna tap here on download, as you can see, and then I'm gonna download this song, and then it's gonna come here, I'm gonna tap on it, tap on downloads, and then it's gonna be right there under my downloads. I can tap here uh, on the search button, and as you can see, I already have it right here, and this, is the Files app, so it's already in the Files app, as you can see. So then that's how I got it, but as I said, you can do it however you want and get this audio file the way you wanna do it, all right? So let's go ahead here and tap on Browse Files app. As you can see, we have this song, which is the one you have just downloaded, but I'm gonna use this one, which is the one you saw in the intro. So let's tap on it, and then it's gonna load right here any second now, and as you can see, it's right there. You're gonna tap and hold, and then you're gonna move it to the left and up. There we go, to the beginning of the timeline. It's gonna load, and then you can already go ahead and preview, so tap on the, on the play button. So that's it. 
As you can see, uh, this beginning right here, this initial portion, it doesn't have a lot going on, right? So you can easily adjust if you want to. So you can tap on it and then just adjust editing here the track. So let's say I want to begin right here, right when the action actually happened. So after that, I can tap outside, tap on it once again and move to the beginning of the timeline. So then that's perfect. Now, all I have to do and we're done is tap here on this arrow pointing down the first icon on the left and then my songs. As you can see, it's saving, it's creating my song. And as you can see, we're good to go. You can tap and hold on it, tap and hold. And then you can tap here on share. So tap on share. And of course, what we want to share as is a ringtone. As you can see, we can continue. And then as you can see right here, it's going to pick a name. So let's close that and let's create our own name. I'm going to put it as YouTube, just so there are no mix ups. All right. So I'm going to tap on export. It's exporting as a ringtone and we're done. You can tap on OK. We can exit GarageBand. We don't need it anymore. And then if we go ahead here and open up our settings and tap here on ringtone, by the way, this is the sounds and haptics option right here under our settings. Okay. So tap here on sounds and haptics and then ringtone tap on it. And then YouTube, the one we have just created our new ringtone. And so that's literally it. That's how you can set any song, any audio file for that matter, as your iPhone ringtone, the official way and completely free video updated for 2025. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one as usual, guys. See you later.